Hi, today I will suggest you another destination when you have a tour in Hoi An or Da Nang. That's Mi Sơn Sanctuary. Now let's discover. Mi Sơn Sanctuary is 45 km from Hoi An ancient town to the west, 68 km from the city of Da Nang to the southwest, and 145 km from the capital city Turtle Bay to the south. It is considered one of the main temple centers of Hinduism in Southeast Asia and the only sanctuary in Vietnam. This is also the burial place of kings and powerful priests of Champa dynasty. Many documents show that Mi Sơn Sanctuary dated from the 4th century and over the years, many small and big towers were built. Mi Sơn Sanctuary is heavily influenced by India, both in terms of architecture and culture, which is expressed through the tower temples and still inscribed in ancient Sanskrit. In 1898, the sanctuary was first discovered by French in the middle of a dense forest. Since then, many scientists came to study its specially inscribed stele, architectural and sculptural works. The sanctuary includes many clusters of the tower temples. Each cluster has a main tower temple, Kalen, in the middle, and many small side tower temples throughout it. Kalen often worships Linga, a birth tool, or the divinity Shiva. The front of each cluster is the gate tower, Godpuru, flowed by Mandap, where many worshipping objects are placed and dance rituals are held. The tower temples all have the shape of a pyramid, the symbol of Mount Meru, the mythical sacred mountain home of Hindu gods as the center of the universe. The gate of the tower temple is often faced to the east to receive sunlight. However, most of the architecture does not remain intact. The sanctuary is rated on a par with the same style famous relics in Southeast Asia, such as Angkor Wat, Bar Buddha or Bagan due to more than 70 temple buildings of Champa civilization. Also, it is considered the most magnificent religious relic in Vietnam, built in a thousand years from the 4th century to 13th century. Mi Sơn Sanctuary plays a very important role in the Southeast Asia arts and culture, and is recognized the World Cultural Heritage by UNESCO in November 1999.